lap for this particular track for the week. Fuji International Speedway. I've driven this track in full before, but not this variation. So it's gonna be pretty ugly. Uh, the first thing that I do, I go to the top 10 stars for the week and I'm opting to follow Turismo Lester. I've already watched Turismo Lester's um, lap uh, from the driver's perspective so I can you know, pick up on some tips. Um, 143.59 is the top time. I doubt I'll come in anything less than 148. Um, guessing maybe 150, that's, yeah. But it's gonna be pretty ugly. I've already loaded the ghost, so let's just jump in. Um, I just want you to get an idea of what it looks like to start off with at the beginning of a week. Now, some of these corners I am familiar with. I'm just not very good at it. The difference is going to come in when uh, later in the week when I've had some practice, and you'll see the differences. So the first thing that I do is I find out where the um, red line is where the rev limiter is and it's at 7,000 so that's where I'll practice my shifts. Later on when I'm back studying and doing my drills I'll find out where uh, Turismo Lester shifts um, but I max out um, to start off with. Probably hit the break point a little late. Uh, that's what happens. I've also never driven the Jaguar F-Type on this track at all, even the variation that I've, that I've done. So I am a little bit familiar with this corner, not a little bit, I am familiar with this corner. Uh, doesn't mean I'm very good at it though. corner tends to give me trouble so I plan on conquering it I went a little bit wide the leaders tend to drive right over that cone so that's what I'm going to do this is a pretty complicated track for me anyway um, there's a lot of off-camber turns, a lot of long turns like this, and um, there's lots of time or area to find speed. So I predicted a 148, I came in at a, or 149, 150, I came in at a 153 on my very first lap. Um, uh, that was a little bit better, uh, but I'll probably break about two car lengths earlier next time. As I continue to get familiar with the track, um, not only will speed increase, but smoothness because I can anticipate the turns and I'm not quite there yet. I am more than two and a half seconds faster. Than my, uh, than my first lap. Uh, I would hope so, because it was a horrible lap. So the goal of these laps um, are not really to lay down fastest times per se. It's actually just to get familiar with the flow of the track. Uh, my qualifying time, you know, right now, after my first lap is 153 seconds, and um, I'm gonna target, once I'm really uh, more comfortable, I'm gonna target closer to a 147. 
it's going to take a while to get there. We've got a lot to learn still. There's the 150 that I predicted uh, before I started. So I'm going to break a little bit sooner here. Much better. Although it's interesting, I'm not as quick on pace as the last lap, even though I hit a better break point. So I have no idea what the max or minimum speed is that I should be carrying yet. Again, that's later on um, when I go through those drills on my qualifying. Once I get more fluid um, with these laps, this is my third lap ever. Um, once I get, whoa, once I get more fluid with my laps, um, I will then go back and watch the um, Ghost of Turismo Lester, which sounds like a really good book. Um, and then find out, okay, well, how much speed is being carried through the turns? Uh, again, revisit what are the braking points? How does that compare to where I'm braking? And then I'll come back out and I usually shave off another one or two seconds. So I'm accustomed to going off track. Um, on my first qualifying outings for the week. Uh, it's I'm pretty horrible to start off with. Let's see if we can get this turn better. Yeah. So nearly four tenths of a second, well now four tenths of a second faster. Smoothness is coming for those first few turns. I'm a half a second faster. This turn I tend to have trouble with, so I plan on uh, spending a lot of time with this one. One thing I notice is the turns that I have trouble with tend to be turns that other drivers have trouble with as well. So if I have the opportunity to get good at those turns, it can give me an advantage during the race. So my goal by the end of the week um, is to be on the podium. When I start my first race, I'll probably be somewhere between 10th and last place to start off with. Uh, there's a 148.7. So there's definitely still time left. My pace is similar to my fastest lap, which means I am starting to dial it in somewhat. Consistency is key to start off with. And 
and then I'll go back do more drills and then I'll be able to find speed and be consistent with those trouble spots. So it looks like I found about a half second on that lap, a little more. And it's 148.182. Fastest lap is 143, or of the fastest driver in the world, that is. Who I am nearly keeping pace with at least through that first corner. I lost time there because I missed a shift. So if you're rooting for me, we want to see that number above my speed blue, and that means that I'm continuing to make better pace. Qualifying is for two purposes. One is the faster I qualify, the higher up in the grid I am. So I'll start off closer to the front of the pack. Uh, the second pur purpose is actually practice and drill. So I do have a process. Um, and the process seems to work where I can, you know, use my process to identify areas where I'm struggling and um, make improvements. There's some long turns. So that one I went a bit too far out. Uh, I was probably carrying too much speed going into the turn and then it made me go really wide and take a longer route. Uh, so I do know how to shorten that distance and that's what I'll work on. Uh, my times are becoming pretty consistent um, at the 148 mark. I did overcook that. Um, I hit the brake probably about one car length too late. And that's okay. This is practice and I'm still working on several other corners. Even though my time is red, right next to it, you'll see an arrow um, that'll flip red and blue. And that means in that particular section, regardless of my overall lap time, in that particular section, I'm either faster or slower than my fastest lap. So right now I'm faster in this section. Some of the things that I'm doing differently, taking a slightly different line, um, going into a different gear through turns, sometimes carrying a higher gear will slow you down, sometimes going through it in a lower gear uh, will, will slow you down. So um, I'll try both. I'm still in the 148 range, just two tenths of a second slower than my fastest time. So one thing I look out for for myself is if I'm driving consistent lap times like I am, uh, it means that it's getting time to go back and watch more.
I'm starting to build the muscle memory for the course itself. And now it's time to start finding where I can pick up speed. I hadn't taken that line before, I really like it. And I'm about a half a second ahead, so somehow I found some pace. And it looks like this is going to put me in the 147s. Uh, the fastest driver is at 143. So I'm about a little more than four and a half seconds um, off of the fastest driver. So I'm going to take a break here and uh, what I go do is I go watch that driver's perspective and watch all of the speeds through all the corners and uh, I usually have some surprises um, to see how fast. I know which corners I'm having trouble with so I'll pick one, two or three corners uh, to focus on and then I'll come back and then try to pick up speed and drive through those as well. So um, thanks for playing.